Hey guys, I want to talk to you about the use we pack. These are great uh, running vests from Usui in Sweden and I want to tell you all about them today. Okay, so Usui has a lot of uh, running vests. Uh, this year there's there's two main vests introduced. One is the Pace 8, which is what I have here. So you'll see here it's, uh, it has the labeling on the back. Usui Pace 8, which means it's an 8 liter pack uh, for running. Um, it comes with two water bottles, um, 500 milliliter, half a liter, um, that go into the, the pockets on the front. So if I put it on, <clears throat> you have the vest with pockets in the front and there's a single enclosure. So one snap and you're done. Now <clears throat> this year they introduced these, uh, I guess you'd call them gussets on the sides with uh, crisscross uh, strings for adjusting the size. So if you reach into the pocket here, there's, there's, a, there's a pocket for storage in the front of the water bottle. And if you reach in, you'll, you'll, you'll get the end of the string that goes into this crisscross pattern here. So you can adjust it up to the right fit. Now one thing about these packs is they're, they're intended to fit tight. And the reason for that is they're designed to be no bounce packs. So you won't get any bouncing no matter what sort of cargo you're carrying, as long as you fit it correctly and cinch it tight. Now the nice thing about this too is even if you cinch it tight, it doesn't hamper your breathing because you'll notice that the pattern is this di diagonal here. It sort of follows the the line of your ribs. And so your diaphragm is able to expand and contract as it should when running. You know, you have, you have to be running with belly breathing. <clears throat> and that happens, I mean, that allows you to do that without sort of covering up the the ribs or your abdomen below. So the design, you know, permits proper belly breathing and it's really comfy. Anyway, so that one snap and then you adjust on the side as needed. You can loosen it or tighten it uh, depending on what's happening with your cargo. So if you had a uh, hydration bladder in the back, let me show you that. So the back of the pack has a cargo section here. You'll see inside there's like a pocket for the bladder and then outside of that additional storage to give you the eight liters of storage this pack provides. Um, the bladder goes into the pocket. Pop it in there. <clears throat> now the front of the packet has this loop enclosure. I don't know if you can see that. You, uh, it's Velcro. So you run that through the top of the bladder and let it fall in there. And then the hose, you run it through the arms. Now, if you notice here, the right side of the vest has this no bouncing monkey strap. Um, so this makes it easy to hide the, not hide, but retain the hose behind it on this side. So I usually run it through the right side. down through the strap that says no bouncing monkey and there you have it so <clears throat> now you've got the bladder in there and I'll close the back pocket with the velcro and put this on
Now, you can get accessories like the uh, magnetic holder to snap it on there. That's a separately purchased accessory, but some people just let it dangle down. I prefer to have it clipped there on the magnetic holder. Um, they have here at the top two pockets. You may not think they're pockets, but they are actually pockets. And these are for stashing gels in there. So you pop in the gel for easy access. I usually load it up when I'm not wearing it though. But. Retain it like that. Another one on this side. Now you'll note that the pocket has some sort of fabric that's folded underneath and that's used to hold the gel in place. So you, you sort of fold it in behind that pocket. Like that. So it's not going to fall out. If you had uh, some other nutrition, there's a zippered pocket back here. Everything is accessible, by the way, without having to remove the pack. So you can pack that in the back and zip that up to secure it. And let's say you had a uh, mandatory gear of a jacket, waterproof jacket. Um, you could put that, probably easier, take it off, I would put that on the main compartment outside of the pocket for the bladder, so just put that up there. And then let's say you, you wanted something you could easily get access to, like let's say you had a buff. There's another pocket down below with a zipper and you can stash that in there like that. And that's a separate compartment than the side zipper. So they're both in the back. One has a zipper from the bottom, one has a zipper from the side. So usually you'd want to put in the bottom zipper pocket something that won't fall out like nothing heavy or hard. It's easier if you put like buffs and uh, spare hats and stuff like that in there. So this pack is fairly fully loaded now. Again one snap and you're in. So what about hiking poles? Um, the pack has retention for poles on the front. So let's, let's say you had these two um, collapsible poles, Z poles. Um, what you would do is put one side up here, then cinch it down like so, and the other one down here below, and cinch that one down as well. that. Now, with the poles here, you know, you might think it makes it difficult to access the bottles. Um, you don't have to remove the bottles, obviously, when you're drinking, right? You just, you just grab the, uh, the straw and drink that way. Similarly, your back hose is still accessible there. So when you get to the aid station and you want to uh, refill your bottles, what I typically do is I'll release the bottom retention, make the bottle accessible, pull it out, have it filled up at the aid station, and then pop it back in. And then return the pole to its secured position. and be on your way. And there you have it, the Yusui 
Pace 8 running pack. See you on the trails. The other pack introduced this year is the Pace 2 running vest. So this one is the Pace 2. Uh, both the Pace 8 and the Pace 2 are available in red or white. Uh, this is the red one, Pace 2 in red. And um, it's very similar to the Pace 8, but only accommodates two liters of storage. So you have the two uh, water bottles, again provided in front, 500 milliliters each. There's a pocket in front of each uh, bottle holder. And on the back, you'll note that they just have mesh here instead of the big pocket for the bladder. So there's no bladder storage in the Pace 2. Um, they do have the side zipping pocket in the back for an additional liter of storage back there. And no bottom zipper. So they just have the side zipper, the two pockets in front of the water bottle holders, and the water bottle pockets themselves. Plus you have the two uh, small pockets here for holding gels like the other pack did. Okay, so fitment is the same. They also have the side gussets on the side and the single snap and the no bouncing monkey fit as well.